in this lesson we are going to start chapter number 2 question number 1 and we are going to solve first part of question number 1 so question we have that we have to find out the derivatives but we have to use the definition method find by definition that is why i have written in red because this is the important thing the derivatives with respect to x of the following function so this is the question function of x f of x is equal to 2x square plus 1 we are going to start by definition so by definition step by step we will solve this question so there will be four step so first of all we will assume that this is y y is equal to 2x square plus 1 and we will say this is our equation number 1 why i said this is equation number 1 which i will tell you right away so start from step number 1 in step number 1 what you have to do what we are doing again we are going to find out the derivatives by using definition so taking increment on both sides on both sides so what is the meaning of increment increment means change or addition we have to add something both sides so y and increment is delta means change so we will add something y plus delta y which is equal to 2 see here it is y that is why i have added delta y but here is x so what i have to do x plus delta x this is the increment on both sides delta means change so there here is x square that is why x plus delta x and now we will take the square of this plus 1 now what we have to do we will take this y which is on the left hand side to the right hand side of the equation so our equation will be delta y is equal to 2 into x plus delta x whole square plus 1 and then when we will take this y to the other side to the right hand side the sign will change and now our equation is this with the negative y 2 right so here i said this is equation number 1 so the value of y is equal to 2x square plus 1 instead of this y you can write down 2x square plus 1 so here i will write down put the value of y from 1 into 2 or you can write down equation 1 into equation 2 so it will be delta y is equal to 2 into x plus delta x whole square plus 1 but as i have told you if you have a negative sign in math you should be very very careful so just make a bracket and in parenthesis you have to write down 2x square plus 1 if suppose you forget this parenthesis maybe you will not change this sign because this negative will change both the signs so that is why i have written in parenthesis 2x square plus y and this is the value of y so now we have done our first step now move to the second step what we have to do in step number 2 we have to solve this so i will write down here is step 2 so in a step 2 first i will write down the same thing which we did before in the last page it is x plus delta x square plus 1 and then negative 2x square plus 1 now we are going to solve it so see this is x plus delta x whole square this is our formula which we have discussed or which we have learned in grade 6 or 7 this is a plus b right i can write down here but this is not part of your question a plus b whole square how you expand this a square the square of the first one is square of the second term plus 2ab i will just write down this is not the part of question so same thing you have to expand this formula according to this instead of a we have x so we will write down x square then b instead of b we have delta x so we will make the square of delta x plus 2 is for the formula this is a this is b and now we have expanded our this close parenthesis plus 
and this negative sign will change because it's multiplying to both terms now it is like this okay so next step we have to multiply it will be 2x square plus 2 delta x square plus 4x into delta x plus 1 minus 2x square minus 1 so see this is negative 1 this is positive 1 these two are cancel this is negative 2x square this is positive 2x square so this is also cancel what is left we have 2 delta x square plus 4x into delta x and here we have delta y so we can take delta x because delta x is here delta x is here we can take delta x common so what is remaining here 2 delta x plus 4x is remaining right we, you can think that we can also take 2 as a common but you will see why i didn't take 2 as a common if you want you can take 2 common as well and again you have to multiply in the next step so do not worry only take delta x common now our third step is in our step number 3 you have to divide whatever is here delta x or whatever so divide here we have delta x divide both sides of the equation or both sides by delta x so it will be delta y over delta x which is equal to delta x over delta x right and here we have 2 delta x plus 4 x so see these this delta x and this delta x will cancel now what we have left we have Here we have uh, delta y over delta x which is equal to 2 delta x plus 4x. Right? Now we cannot solve it further. So the fourth step and the final step is that we have to apply the limit. Taking or applying limit delta x tends to 0 both sides right so it will be delta y over delta x and limit delta x tends to 0 which is equal to two. okay I can write down here limit delta x tends to 0 here 2 delta x plus 4 x right so here we have two terms so limit delta x tends to 0 we can write down 2 delta x we will take the separate limit plus limit delta x tends to 0 and we here we have 4 x so see when we will apply limit delta x x tends to 0 on delta y over delta x it will change to dy by dx so now this is dy by dx and here is 2 delta x right 2 is the constant so we can take 2 and then i will write down limit delta x tends to 0 so here we have only this plus c here we do not have any delta we have to apply limit on delta x we do not have so if 4 and x both will consider as constant so 4x so here i will tell you the theorem that limit c whatever x is equal to 0 if we are going to apply limit on x and here we have c so it means c is constant so same thing here because we have to apply limit on delta x and we do not have any delta x here so 4x will consider as a constant so this is constant right now here is 2 and on delta x we have to apply limit which is equal to 4 plus 4x so it will be 0 and this is 4x so dy by dx dy by dx is equal to 4x and this is the solution of our question this is a lengthy question but very easy Practice it. If you have any question, you can ask me. Subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.